Cigarette usage amongst teenagers has decreased dramatically um, over the last 20 years. However, in the last five years or so, um, e-cigarettes have become increasingly popular. It is an electronic device and it uses these little cartridges that have chemicals in them, um, they have nicotine in them, and they generally will have some sort of flavoring in them. The pen acts as a vaporizer, so it takes that liquid and turns it into um, something you can inhale. It's been a successful way for adults to wean themselves off of cigarettes. However, generally speaking, teenagers who are using e uh, electronic cigarettes that is their first entryway into using tobacco products. They are not using them to wean themselves off cigarettes. They're used for recreational purposes. It's very easy for teenagers to get a hold of these. The cartridges are cheaper than buying cigarettes. And I think the whole idea that it's almost like a healthy alternative to smoking, I think appeals to younger, a younger population and the fact that there's different flavors. It doesn't taste like cigarette smoke. It tastes like berries or creme brulee or cherry flavored. Electronic cigarettes are usually a little bit bigger and so therefore if you're a high school student and you want to use your electronic cigarette at school, it's usually pretty hard to uh, conceal it. However, uh, the Juul devices are um, they're almost the size of a USB drive and they look exactly like them. It is a very efficient device, so a lot of times uh, people will actually get a higher dose of nicotine through these devices than a, a, a previous electronic cigarette. The amount of nicotine that is in a cartridge for a Juul, even though it seems like it's very small, is the amount of nicotine in a pack of cigarettes. It's been well established that if you are someone, like a teenager who has a growing brain, um, nicotine exposure can stunt the devel brain development as time goes on. Part of your brain, particularly your frontal lobe, um, which has to do with executive functioning and that sort of thing, doesn't develop really until your late teens, early 20s. In addition, um, there's other chemicals in them as well that you wouldn't normally have in normal cigarettes, like heavy metals and that sort of thing. Um, and we're not entirely sure what the effect of ingesting these metals would have on the lungs, let alone uh, teenagers' lungs. They've done some studies that have shown that children who use electronic cigarettes are more likely to try um, traditional cigarettes. Part of our job is to talk to teenagers about substance use, um, electronic cigarettes included. And so if you're having any concerns about that and you feel like you maybe can't really connect with your, uh, your child, having them, their pediatrician or their family physician speak to them alone, um, that way they feel like they have a safe space that they can talk about these things freely.